Isaiah chapter 19 Egypt Oracle on Egypt See, the Lord is riding on a swift cloud. On his way to Egypt. The idols of Egypt tremble before him. The hearts of the Egyptians melt within them. I will stir up Egypt against Egypt. Brother will war against brother. Neighbor against neighbor. City against city, kingdom against kingdom. The courage of the Egyptians shall ebb away within them. And I will bring their counsel to naught. They shall consult idols and charmers, ghosts, and clairvoyance. I will deliver Egypt. Into the power of a cruel master. A harsh king who shall rule over them. Oracle of the Lord, the Lord of hosts. The waters shall be drained from the sea. The river shall parch and dry up. Its streams shall become foul. And the canals of Egypt shall dwindle and parch. Reeds and rushes shall wither away. And bulrushes on the bank of the Nile. All the sown land along the Nile. Shall dry up and blow away, and be no more. The fishermen shall mourn and lament. All who cast hook in the Nile. Those who spread their nets in the water. Shall pine away. The linen workers shall be disappointed. The combers and weavers shall turn pale. The spinners shall be crushed. All the hired laborers shall be despondent. Utter fools are the princes of Zoan. The wisest of Pharaoh's advisers give stupid counsel. How can you say to Pharaoh? I am a descendant of wise men, of ancient kings. Where then are your wise men? Let them tell you and make known. What the Lord of hosts has planned. Against Egypt. The princes of Zoan have become fools. The princes of Memphis have been deceived. The chiefs of its tribes. Have led Egypt astray. The Lord has prepared among them. A spirit of dizziness. And they have made Egypt stagger in whatever she does. As a drunkard staggers in his vomit. Egypt shall accomplish nothing. Neither head nor tail, palm branch, nor reed, shall accomplish anything. On that day the Egyptians shall be like women. Trembling with fear. Because of the Lord of hosts shaking his fist at them. And the land of Judah shall be a terror to the Egyptians. Every time they think of Judah, they shall stand in dread. Because of the plan the Lord of hosts has in mind for them. On that day there shall be five cities in the land of Egypt. That speak the language of Canaan. And swear by the Lord of hosts. One shall be called City of the Sunday. On that day there shall be an altar. To the Lord at the center of Egypt and a sacred pillar to the Lord near its boundary. This will be a sign and witness to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt, so that when they cry out to the Lord, because of their oppressors, he will send them a savior to defend and deliver them. The Lord shall make himself known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. They shall offer sacrifices and oblations. Make vows to the Lord and fulfill them. Although the Lord shall smite Egypt severely. He shall heal them, they shall turn to the Lord. And he shall be moved by their entreaty and heal them. On that day there shall be. A highway from Egypt to Assyria. The Assyrians shall enter Egypt and the Egyptians enter Assyria, and the Egyptians shall worship with the Assyrians. On that day Israel shall be a third party, with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing in the midst of the earth. When the Lord of hosts gives this blessing, 
Blessed be my people Egypt. And the work of my hands Assyria. And my heritage, Israel.